tutorial for NoCoHQ. In today's tutorial, we're going to show you again a new update for our Chrome extension builder for Bubble. If you don't know about that already, um, please watch one of our other videos, our instruction video, how to set that up. But basically, our um, integration allows you to convert your Bubble application into a Chrome extension, Google Chrome extension, without any code. All you have to do is get your build, um, receive or install the plugin, and um, you're good to go. And um, in this video, we're going to show you two new features that we add, which were highly requested, which is interacting with the current um, page, the current active tab, basically the uh, HTML, and inserting text in certain areas and also removing certain HTML um, elements via your um, Google Chrome extension, basically. So um, we're assuming that you already have um, a Chrome extension uh, purchased from us, so we're not going to show you this part. What we're going to show you is we're here in our Bubble application, and we dragged our Chrome extension element onto the page. As always, we're going to build our Chrome extension into a small Bubble uh, page here, which is called that F. As always, you can define your style, whatever you want it. This won't be the point of the tutorial. We just quickly want to show you the new feature we added. So let's add a button here in the middle. I have that one already. Let's maybe change the style a bit because right now it looks very, very ugly. So let's try a solid like this maybe. No background color. Yeah, let's just keep it like this. All right. And the two new element actions we want to show you is, first of all, let's add an action when this button is pressed. Let's go to element actions. You can see our Chrome extension plugin and you can see all the actions you have access to. And the two last uh, actions we have here is remove HTML uh, by ID and add text to page. Okay, let's start with the remove HTML by ID. This is a very simple action, but might be quite powerful, which allows you that uh, or allows you to remove certain HTML elements by targeting their element ID. So many HTML elements always have an ID, a unique ID. That's the great thing about it. All you have to do is enter that here. And then once a user opens um, your Chrome extension on a certain page, and you have to know the page before and to know which element ID to target, when the user clicks the button, you can automatically completely remove this from the current page. So let me give you an example. I'm right here now uh, on the Wikipedia page for software. This will work on all pages, so that doesn't matter uh, which page you're on. I'm just going to work with Wikipedia here. So let's, for example, say, OK, uh, when my Chrome extension uh, is opened, uh, for whatever reason, or you want to always delete this or hide this contents um, box. OK. So how are you going to find out what the element ID is of this box? Well, quite simply, you're just going to right click. You're going to inspect this element. And you can see, all right, you can just highlight that. And it will be hi uh, highlight on the left side as well. So let's check, check, check. OK. All, all right. This whole block, exactly what we want to delete. We want to just hide that um, and not have the content box visible. And you can already see, OK, this is a div. And its ID is TOC. Super simple. Now you just copy that, OK? We're going to go back to our bubble app and when let's just rename this button to remove HTML. We're going to start at a workflow and we're going to say, all right, when this is pressed, we want to remove the HTML element by ID with the element ID TOC. Let's just try that now. So I'm going to open my Chrome extension, which is already installed here called demo extension. OK, and uh, we're going to click on the button now. OK, let's click on remove HTML. Let's see what happens. Perfect. You can see the whole block was removed in an instant. Um, all the content shifts up and it is as if the content box would never have existed. So works perfectly fine. And um, you, you can do that with all kinds of HTML elements as long as you have the element ID. So we can take another example. Maybe uh, let's find another ID that might be interesting. Um, yeah, let's let's uh, assume you want to remove the logo of Wikipedia. OK, so we're going to just copy this P slash logo, go back to our bubble app. Let's just copy this uh, workflow here and we're going to say, OK, we want to remove TOC and we also want to remove P logo. OK, so same thing. Now I'm just going to open the Chrome extension. This one takes a bit uh, long to load because we have a lot of plugins installed and it's a testing application. So let's remove the HTML again. Let's actually refresh the page because our content box is still hidden. OK, so let's load that again. And I want to click on remove HTML. What should happen is again, the content box should be hidden and this thing here. Perfect. Uh, works fine. Once again, content box is gone. Uh, logo of Wikipedia is gone. And um, you can also cl close the Chrome extension will make no difference. You can um, 
still see the changes. So the actual HTML of the page has changed. Okay, great. So let's take a look at the second um, the second uh, action that we added, which is kind of a bit the opposite. This allows you to add text to a certain um, or append text to a certain element ID. Okay, so let's uh, um, take the last example. I'm just going to add TOC again. Let's say you want to add some text here for whatever reason. Okay, all you have to do once again is use this element action, enter the element ID, and for text, obviously enter the text that you want to enter uh, or append. You can also use dynamic data, which is great. And um, you guys will probably come up with a lot of use cases for this. So let's just have a text here maybe. Um, this is the content box of Wikipedia. All right, so let's try that once again. Let's just open our demo extension um, and see what happens when we press the button. So let's, okay, it's still called remove HTML, doesn't matter, but let's try it. Awesome. You can see once again, in an instant, our text here is added. This is the contact box, content box of Wikipedia. We can also inspect that now, and this is actually now really in the HTML um, of this whole um, page here, okay? So we added this text here as HTML, as a paragraph to the bottom of this content box. And once again, you can apply that to any point. We just use the content box here. You could apply that here maybe, or at the left side. We can find a new ID again if you want. Um, let's find something. Yeah, let's say you wanna maybe add that to the header here for whatever reason. So let's copy the ID here, MW head. Let's just replace that. I'm not gonna replace the text here. Let's try it again just to check if everything works. I'm gonna press the button now and somewhere on the top our text should be appended. Maybe won't won't look nice, but let's try it. Okay, it's here. <laughs> this is the content box of Wikipedia. Um, yeah, probably not um, the best use case for this action, but um, I think you, you get the, the basic gist of it. Um, and yeah, these two actions allow you to remove HTML and um, append text to a certain element via um, targeting the element ID. So quite a powerful feature to interact and work with the current active page or tab uh, the user has opened. So yeah, that's basically it. Thank you for watching. And I'm going to see you guys for next tutorial of NoCoHQ. Bye.